All right, so we'll talk a little bit about uh, Facebook today and then a little more tomorrow or next time. So um, raise your hand if you've ever heard of this website called Facebook. Okay, You and 1.5 billion other people. That's how many people are using Facebook now. One and a half billion people. What's that? It was down, and then a lot of people, a lot of people, um, think their life is over when it's not available. Uh, Facebook recently had, uh, they have more than a billion people. They have more than a billion accounts on Facebook, but for the first time, they had a billion people using it at once, like last week or something very recently. So Facebook of course has personal profiles but they've also got business pages like Google Plus. Remember when we created a Google Plus business page we needed to first create a personal profile. So what we're gonna need to do here is since most of us already have this I'm just gonna jump into um, logging into the personal account because you need a personal account before you can create business accounts and the terminology is like Google Plus in that it's kind of generic in that we're gonna use the term uh, profile and page a profile is personal and a page is for business so let's go then to facebook.com go ahead and log in as you normally do and then we'll create business pages and people always ask well should I create a brand new business account here no you want to create you want to use a personal one and then create business ones and you will not see any of your personal stuff on the business page people always ask that like Google Plus your personal picture and such your personal content does not show up on the business pages on Google Plus or Facebook. So you could create a brand new account just for business if you want. But I'm going to log in as personal. Go ahead and log in as personal and then we'll proceed. And since this is personal, hopefully nothing not safe for work shows up here. But you want to log in. So you should um, be, maybe if you don't know all the details of Facebook, that's okay. We're going to talk about the important ones for business. But on the top right corner, you should see your name, your profile name. You've got home, find friends, and then notifications, a little lock, and then a triangle. I'm sure the triangle has a specific name, but we'll call it the options triangle. So do you see a, a little black triangle? All the way on the top right are options triangle. Notice on mine, if I click my options triangle, it lists use Facebook as, and it lists, in my case, three companies. And if I go to see more, these are all of the companies that I manage for other companies. So through my personal account, I've then created business pages for these different businesses. I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. But this is how Facebook is used. You've got a personal account, and then you can create business pages and manage them. So the way you do this is on the top right corner, click the little black options triangle and we've got create page pretty straightforward maybe you've seen that before never paid attention but go ahead and click create page you have the option here to choose from about six varieties or six categories if you've got a location that is an actual business on a street you want to select either local business or company and using local business will let people check in. So if they've got the Facebook app and they go to your location on Main Street and on their Facebook app they can click check in, um, it'll have the ability for people to check in if you choose the first option. Uh, someone asked me in another class, well, why would people check in on things? 
And I said, well, there's a couple of reasons. One for the person that checks in, you know, it's fun to show off. I'm here. Look at me at this expensive restaurant. Or look at me, I'm on a boat. Or whatever. Uh, and for the business, it's useful because then you get information. Facebook has one and a half billion users. And every time you post something, every time you like something, every time you answer the question of what are you up to? What did you read today? What did you watch today? You're giving Facebook more and more of your information. So some people believe, well, that's too intrusive. I don't want to share that. Some people don't care. It's fun, whatever. And for businesses, it's very, very useful that people are so willingly giving away a lot of their information because then for us as marketers, we can target something. We can send messages or content to people that care about my, my company, my brand, my product. And the first step to that is to make a page. So any one of these that you choose is fine, but uh, you can change it later if you'd like. But I'm going to select brand just because I can't select local business because I don't have a local business address to add. Go ahead and click brand or product. It's got choose a category. There's a bunch to choose from. So I've got Victor's Bakery. That's under food. Type the name of your company. And then there's the page terms of service that no one reads, but everyone clicks accept. That's just saying that you're not going to use Facebook to harass or to do illegal things and all of that. So you want to click get started. Depending on a few factors, then at the top you might have the the step one, about two, three, and four, or you might have more, you might have less. Doesn't matter. But I've got four steps right here, and then here uh, on on the about, it's going to ask me for uh, some about information. I have 155 characters. So here I want to spend a little time to write some message that will help me get found, you know, with keywords, uh, information about my company. So when someone searches on Facebook, they could find my company. So I'm going to write uh, family owned bakery the heart of East Lake, California. So I still have about a hundred characters that I could use, and I would try to use as much of it as possible because all of that that you write there could help you get found. If you have a website, you want to also add the website. And some of you may have the option to, to actually pick your name here, your, your Facebook web address. So if you, if you don't have this option, you will be able to select it later. And at the moment, your Facebook page will be something like facebook.com slash pages slash 125897. Obviously nothing very memorable or useful. But I have the option to create a new facebook.com slash Victor's Bakery probably already taken because I've done this before. But if you don't have the option to choose that name, we'll see on a different screen how to choose it. It's going to want a logo, and just like on Twitter, just like on uh, Google+, Plus, on all the networks, you're going to want to add some kind of logo and such so that your account doesn't look like the generic flag here. I don't have one handy, so I'm going to skip it. It might ask you for uh, adding this to your favorites. You can uh, skip that. It's not very useful to add it to your favorites because it's happened to me, and uh, it shouldn't happen to you, which is that I think that I'm editing one of my client's pages and I accidentally post something as Victor to the page instead of the company. And that's happened because I thought that simply clicking on the 
clicking on the page in favorites would make it work right. So maybe they fixed this, I don't know, but I, I never put it under favorites. I'm going to show you instead of a way that you're going to make sure that you're editing the page how you think you're editing it. So I'm just going to skip that. And then you got something here very cool. Uh, you might not have had this if you created your Facebook page a few months ago. Uh, a preferred page audience because there's so many people on Facebook. The good thing about Facebook is that there's so many people that you could reach. The bad thing about Facebook is there's so many people you could reach. There's too many people because you're gonna get lost with so many people on Facebook so they've made it they've made this option here. Who are you trying to reach? Who is your audience? Where are they located? What's their age or gender? Because it's not a good idea to think, yeah, everyone will care about my product or my brand. No, you really need to think about it in terms of who's going to care the most. I had a client a few uh, years ago, potential clients, we never worked with them, but they were telling us, um, you know, we asked them, who's your audience? Who's going to care about your product? And then he, of course, said, well, everyone, everyone's going to want my product. Digging further, no, their product was a baby stroller. So no, not everyone's going to want that product. Not every parent is going to want that product. So eventually, working with that with that uh, client for a little bit, talking with them, we just uh, he, he decided and he targeted that really the people that will care the most about his product were young Latino parents. So parents that just have have had kids, Latino parents, they were the ones that were going to care more about the product. So here maybe think about well, I'm going to I'm going to try to reach people in San Diego. San Diego, California, not San Diego, Texas. So I'm going to reach people in San Diego. Good. And then my age range. Well, I'm going to go with uh, 20 to 30-year-olds, 30, 35. And men and women, they would care about my baked goods interests. I can start typing a, a keyword here, or I could browse. Let's see, browse, here's food and drink. I can go deeper into food and drink. This says if I make the, if I target the food and drink demographic, I could reach about one billion people. That's still way too many people to try to reach. That's not one billion people in San Diego. That's just everyone on Facebook that has at some point said that they've searched for food or they've added food as a like on their page. I can get deeper. Alcoholic beverages, beverages, cooking, cuisine, food. Uh, let's see what's under cooking. There we go. Baking. So that could reach about 101,000 people. So I can add a few interests here. I want to add location, age, gender, and interest. I'll save that. And I've got a business page very similar to a personal profile. But this is focused on business. I could follow this uh, these steps here, but I'll just close it. So I created a, a page, but the funny thing, this is what I'm saying, that sometimes you think you're posting as a certain account and you're posting as the wrong account because in mine it shows my name on the top right corner. It makes me think that I'm about to post something on this page as Victor instead of the company. So to make sure that I'm switching between the pages, you click on the triangle on the top right, use Facebook as, see more, and then you click log in. You click log in to the page. 
that you're trying to edit. That way you're, you'll make sure you're editing the page that you, you think you're trying to edit. So there's Victor's Bakery, and I would log in. And now I see on the top right corner it doesn't have my, my name anymore. So then I'm sure that I'm posting as the account that I think I'm posting. Because it has happened to me, other people in my company, you know, you you accidentally like or post as the wrong account. Well, the easy way is just to switch back and forth on that options triangle, and you shouldn't have a problem. So for the moment, this is all really I want to do so far. I just want to make sure that everyone can log into their account and has created a business page. When we come back next time, we'll talk about then how to use it more effectively. So before that time, I would suggest, if you haven't done so yet, put a logo, go to the About screen here, and fill in that stuff. When we come back, we'll talk about, well, how do we get followers? How do we get likes on Facebook? So we need a Facebook page, business page. And then when we come back next time, we'll, we'll see how to get some uh, attention on Facebook.